Welcome to CVTV. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Abby. And here's your Wednesday news. Are you interested in a career as a teacher? Chandler Gilbert Community College will be in the College and Career Center in the library today during both lunches to share more about earning an education degree. All students are invited. If you wear glasses and they fog up whenever you have your mask on, you can get an anti-fogging nose clip to put on your mask. It will keep you seeing clearly. These clips only cost a quarter and can be made in just about any color of the rainbow. They are made in the library with our 3D printer. Stop by to pick one up or a special order in a color of your choice. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. Everyone's invited to Link Cruise Movie Night on Thursday, March 25th with zero entrance fee. That's right, it's free. We will be watching the Lorax in the courtyard. The gates are open at 6 and the movie will start at 645. There will be a Skooky food truck available before and during the movie selling deep dish skillet cookies. It's going to be lots of fun and we hope to see you there. Congratulations to Coach Bishop, Coach Mayor, and the boys wrestling team, 12 of which qualified for at sectionals and competed in the state tournament this last weekend. This year was a record year for our Coyotes. There were more state qualifiers and state medalists than any other previous year. Way to go, wrestlers. The following boys competed at state. Josh Faber. Adrian Vincini. J.C. Harris, along with the following who placed in their respective divisions. Mitchell Jones, who placed second. Jake Durham, who placed second. Joe Misitano, who placed third. Anthony Chacon, who placed fourth. Josh Tucker, who placed third. Caden Calloway, who placed fifth. Connor Calloway, who placed second. Michelle Morons, who placed second. Jake Lightly, who placed fourth. And now over to Austin with the rest of sports. To start the day in sports, congratulations to the girls soccer team for winning state this year. They played a spectacular game on Saturday, beating Castile in the championship by the score of two to one. The Coyotes worked really hard this year and it sure paid off in the form of the state championship. The Coyotes baseball team lost their third game on Thursday. The score was 11 to one. They played a really good Red Mountain team. With this loss, that puts them with an 0-3 record on the season. There are still plenty of games left, and they will hopefully bounce back. The Campo softball team played their best, but they still lost. They played Sunrise Mountain by the score of seven to one. Their next game is against Castile. It should be a pretty close game. These two teams are pretty evenly matched. The Campo Verde boys volleyball team had lost three sets to zero on Friday. That moves their record to one and two on the season. Their next game is tonight against Independence. Hopefully we get the win. Both of Campo's boys and girls tennis teams play tonight against Hamilton. The two teams also play tomorrow against Gilbert. The girls team had started the season with a 2-0 record, winning at Carl Hayden and Trevor G. Brown. The boys tennis team's first two matches were canceled due to problems with the other team's tennis programs. That's all in the world of sports, and have a good day. Okay. Attention all seniors, do you plan to attend the Chandler Gilbert Community College after graduation? Please visit your CGCC on campus advisor. Ms. Sable, today for one-on-one -on -one assistance in determining your next steps to complete the registration process, stop by the counseling office and Ms. Sable can help you with the application. That's it for today. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next Friday.